Hello and welcome to MBKM Models, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more aircraft documentaries and model build videos. The Hawker Tempest is a British fighter aircraft that was primarily used by the Royal Air Force in the Second World War. The Tempest, originally known as the Typhoon II, was an improved derivative of the Hawker Typhoon intended to address the typhoon's unexpected deterioration in performance at high altitude by replacing its wing with a thinner laminar flow design, since it had diverged considerably from the typhoon it was renamed Tempest, the Tempest emerged as one of the most powerful fighters of World War II and at low altitude was the fastest single-engine propeller-driven aircraft of the war, upon entering service in 1944, the Tempest performed low-level interception, particularly against the V-1 flying bomb threat, and ground attack supporting major invasions like Operation Market Garden, later it successfully targeted the rail infrastructure in Germany and Luftwaffe aircraft on the ground, as well as countering similar attacks by German fighters, the Tempest was effective in the low-level interception role, including against newly developed jet-propelled aircraft like the Messerschmitt Me 262, the further developed Tempest II did not enter service until after the end of hostilities, it had several improvements, including being tropicalized for combat against Japan in Southeast Asia as part of the Commonwealth Tiger Force. By April 1944, the Tempest V had attained general acceptance and was in the hands of operational squadrons. 3 Squadron was the first to be fully equipped, closely followed by 486NZ Squadron the only Article 15 Squadron to be equipped with the Tempest during the Second World War replacing their previous Typhoons, a third unit 56 Squadron initially kept its Typhoons and was then temporarily equipped with Spitfire Mark 9s until sufficient supplies of Tempests were available. By the end of April 1944, these units were based at RAF New Church in Kent a new advanced landing ground, where they formed 150 Wing, commanded by Wing Commander Roland Beaumont, the new wing was part of the 2nd Tactical Air Force the 2nd TAF most of the operations carried out by 150 Wing comprised high altitude fighter sweeps offensive operations known as rangers as well as reconnaissance missions, prior to the Normandy landings Tempests would routinely conducted long-range sorties inside enemy territory and penetrate into northern France and the Low Countries, using a combination of cannons and bombs to attack airfields, radar installations, ground vehicles, coastal shipping and the launch sites for the German V-1 flying bombs. The build-up of Tempest-equipped squadrons was increased rapidly in part due to factors such as the V-1 threat, although a labor strike in Hawker's assembly shop adversely affected this rate although by September 1944, a total of five frontline Tempest squadrons which comprised 114 aircraft were in operation. In June 1944, the first of the V-1s were launched against London the excellent low altitude performance of the Tempest made it one of the preferred tools for handling the small fast flying unmanned missiles. 150 Wing was transferred back to the RAF Fighter Command the Tempest squadrons soon racked up a considerable percentage of the total RAF kills of the flying bombs 638 of a total of 1846 destroyed by aircraft. Using external drop tanks, the Tempest was able to maintain standing patrols of 4.5 hours off the south coast of England in the approach paths of the V-1s, guided by close instructions from coastal radar installation. Tempests would be positioned ready for a typical pursuit and would either use cannon fire or nudge the V-1 with the aircraft itself to destroy it. In September 1944 Tempest units based at forward airfields in England, supported Operation Market Garden the airborne attempt to seize a bridgehead over the Rhine. On 21 September 1944, as the V-1 threat had receded, the Tempest squadrons were redeployed to the 2nd TAF effectively trading places with the Mustang three squadrons of 122 Wing, which became part of the fighter command units deployed on bomber escort duties. 122 Wing now consisted of three squadron, 
56 Squadron, 80 Squadron and 274 Squadron to March 1945, and 486 NZ Squadron. From the 1st of October 1944-122 Wing was based at Pieti Volkel Air Base near Ouden, in the Netherlands. During the early phase of operations, the Tempest regularly emerged victorious and proved to be a difficult opponent for their Luftwaffe's BF-109G and FW-190 fighters to counter. Armed reconnaissance missions were usually flown by two sections of eight aircraft flying in Finger 4 formations which would cross the front lines at altitudes of 7,000 to 8,000 feet. Once the Tempests reached their allocated target area the lead section dropped to 4,000 feet or lower to search for targets to strafe, while the other section flew cover 1,000 feet higher and down sun. After the first section had carried out several attacks, it swapped places with the second section and the attacks continued until all ammunition had been exhausted, after which the Tempests would return to base at 8,000 a feet as many of the more profitable targets were usually some 250 miles from base. The Tempests typically carried two 45-gallon drop tanks which were turned on soon after takeoff, although there were fears that the empty tanks would explode if hit by flak. The threat never eventuated and, due to the tanks being often difficult to jettison, they were routinely carried throughout an operation with little effect on performance reducing maximum speed by 5 to 10 a miles per hour and range by 2%. Between October and December 1944, the Tempest was practically withdrawn from combat operations for overhaul work, as well as to allow operational pilots to train newcomers. The overhaul process involved the replacement or major servicing of their engines and the withdrawal of the limited number of aircraft which were equipped with spring tabs, these increased maneuverability so much that there was a risk of damaging the airframe. In December 1944 upon the Tempest's re-entry into service, the type had the twin tasks of the systematic destruction of the North German rail network along with all related targets of opportunity, and the maintenance of air supremacy within the North German theater searching for and destroying any high-performance fighter or bomber aircraft of the Luftwaffe whether in the air or on the ground. In December 1944, a total of 52 German fighters were downed, 89 trains and countless military vehicles were destroyed, for the loss of 20 Tempests. Following the Luftwaffe's Unternehmen Bodenplatt of 1 January 1945, 122 Wing bore the brunt of low to medium altitude fighter operations for the 2nd Tactical Air Force, which had fortuitously evaded the extensive Bodenplatt trade, and had contributed to efforts to intercept the raiders. During this time, Spitfire 14s of 125 and 126 Wings often provided medium to high altitude cover for the Tempests, which came under intense pressure the wing losing 47 pilots in January. In February 1945, 33 and 222 squadrons of 135 wing converted from Spitfire Mark 9s and in March were joined by 274 squadron. 135 wing was based at B-77 Gilts Rhine Airfield in the Netherlands. The intensity of operations persisted throughout the remainder of the war. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening and until next time.